Hey, what's up guys? My name is Blake and today we're going to be talking about the Sony ZV-1. Let's go. All right guys, so we're talking top five best features for this camera, the Sony ZV-1. Starting at number five, we have this flip touchscreen LCD on the back, flips out. So when you're vlogging or doing whatever, taking a photo of yourself or whatever, you can completely see yourself in the screen. Another feature I like about the flip screen is that when you open it up, it turns on the camera, which is a very, very cool feature. Very, very easy to use and just makes it more simpler for whoever's gonna be using this camera. And this camera's geared more towards like content creators, vloggers, people that are just getting into making their own content, wanna shoot a lot of vlog style footage, a lot of run and gun stuff. So having a feature like that makes it a lot easier for the user. And so yeah, that's number five. Feature number four for me is gonna be 4K. So this has 4K, this has 4K capabilities. It also has like slow motion capabilities at, at like 120 frames per second. But the thing that I like the most about the 4K that's built in this is that it looks pretty decent, it's pretty sharp, but you get full autofocus in 4K. So like the camera I'm using right now, the EOS RP from Canon, it has 4K, but I can't use the dual pixel autofocus in 4K. I have to go to full HD if I want a dual pixel autofocus. This has full autofocus right in 4K, so you can switch it over to 4K, get all that high quality footage you want so you'll be able to punch in, plus have all the peace of mind of your autofocus so that's gonna be focusing while you're recording yourself or recording some different kind of subjects. So yeah, 4K autofocus. All right, feature number three is gonna be a feature called product showcase. If I'm filming, filming myself like I am right now, and I'm talking about a product like this, Basically, the camera is going to want to focus on your face most of the time. So when you have product showcase on, it's going to sense when you have something in your hand and you hold it up to the camera. So whether my whether I hold it right here, I don't always have to be covering my face like I do with a camera, like the camera I'm shooting on right now. Um, with product showcase, it knows that you're going to have something in your hand. So when you lift your hands up, it's going to focus on whatever's in your hands automatically, which is a very cool feature, especially when you're doing a lot of product reviews like I do. It, that's a very, very cool feature to have, especially in a in a camera that's this inexpensive and this small so number three product showcase so feature number two for me is going to be that this has in-body electronic stabilization so it does have pretty decent stabilization you can turn it off you can put it in standard mode or you can put it in active so if you're going to be vlogging a lot you can put it in active or if you're going to be you know running a gun or shooting somebody or going to a concert shooting something else you can put it in active mode if you know you're going to be moving around a lot and it works pretty well standard mode works pretty decent as well it just doesn't work obviously as good as the active the only thing is every time you bump it up so from from no stabilization to, to standard and then up to active it's going to punch in every single time because it needs to crop in a little bit so it has some room to work out all that shaking from the camera so it is going to punch in a little bit which is a downside but it does work pretty pretty decently well like i said before Last tip, a camera that's this price or this size to have stabilization of any kind that actually works is a pretty big deal. So number two, stabilization. So the number one feature of this camera for me is gonna be the fact that this lens is f1.8 to 2.8. So having a fast lens on a camera like this is a really big deal because whether it comes to photo or video, you can shoot in low light scenarios and not have to worry about a lot of noise, a lot of grain. The other thing is when it comes to depth of field for video, Having a f1.8 is, is pretty cool, especially when you're doing a lot of like product highlights or this or that. It really gets that background out, out of focus and puts the attention on your subject in the video. And to have an aperture that low, like I said in all these tips, and a camera that's this inexpensive, that's this small, is a pretty big deal. So there it is guys, there's my top five features of this camera if you are interested in this camera i'm going to put a link in the description box below go check it out so yeah all in all pretty cool camera sony put a lot of features in this camera and they really you can tell they made it for content creators and people who are trying to get into youtube and all that good stuff so if you guys like the video make sure you like share comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one